Hi, it's Adam Harrison from Burble Guitars and I'm here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. In front of me is something which I have just finished building. I'm very, 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 very happy with it. And I'm going to tell you what it is. This is my version of this. Well, it's not my version. I'm gonna use a schematic. I've actually used a schematic called the Ruby Amp. Now, the Ruby Amp is a, a half watt amplifier, guitar amplifier, that you can find the schematic for online. I'm not going to show it to you because it does ask not to show the schematic on YouTube, etc. So, go out onto Google, go and find the Ruby Amp schematic. Now, this particular one is a half watt amplifier, okay? So, it's basically just a, a nice low powered amp. Now, here's the fun thing. It's not expensive to make it, okay? It takes time and it takes a bit of experience with a soldering iron, okay? So you kind of got to know how to use your soldering iron. Now, my suggestion is if you've never done it before, if you're used to doing some guitar soldering, that's one thing. Um, doing circuits is a slightly more uh, complex step. So my suggestion to you would be to start with a kit. Any of the major guitar, cigar box guitar uh, suppliers will be selling cigar box guitar kits. Um, go and get a kit and give it a try. When you're comfortable with that, my suggestion would be jump online and find a really simple fuzz circuit. Have a play with that if you want. The Ruby Amp circuit is a fairly complex circuit comparatively, uh, but it's not a super, super difficult uh, circuit to do. Okay, so let's have a quick little listen to this amplifier. Now, it works really simply. There's no on off switch. It basically works simply by engaging the earth when you plug the guitar in. There is on the back of this particular one, okay, you've got the in for your guitar jack, which will actually turn on the uh, turn on the amplifier. You've got a volume control and you've got a gain control. Now, I really do like to just max out that volume control. As I said, it's a half watt. If you want a little bit of kick, do it this way. I'm not using any pedals. I do like using pedals into things like this to really push it. But let's just roll that gain down a little bit. Now. I'll plug in a guitar, you can have a quick listen, and then I'm going to talk to you about where you can find some fun parts to build these guitars. Now, you know me, I'm a really, really, really big fan. Okay, so it's on, it's just engaged the earth, okay, which has engaged the battery. It's made the circuit. Okay, the gain's about halfway. Now I'll turn it up. Just the, the attack by rolling off my piezo. This is a piezo cigar box guitar, real simple little cigar box guitar, fretless. All right, so that's a piezo. Here I'm going to play my friend Phil Ashby's twangbo, six string. Electric guitar. You obviously, electric guitar pickup, you'll have a lot more output. Okay, unplug it, turns it off. It's as simple as that. So, places where you can find some parts for these guitars. Second hand shops, old speakers, old, oh, here we go, old stereo speakers. Now this one, the inside's all cactus, right? So I'll have to replace that into the baffle, I think it's called. But the frame of it, the frame's actually fantastic. It's just the chipboard that's basically gotten a bit of water in it and it's gone dead. So speakers, this is a sharp speaker, really nice little speaker, plays really, really well. I tested this particular amplifier circuit with a whole range of different speakers. This little one here, which is a Yamaha. It's just made in China. It's a little secondhand, probably 1980s desktop stereo speaker. And it is perfect. It's dirty as hell. You'll absolutely love it. Um, all the way to interesting things like this beautiful, beautiful little roller speaker, okay, in this Philips box. I don't know whether it's the original speaker, but it is absolutely fantastic. It is so old, 
have a look. The clip, the clip doesn't even fit anything nowadays, right? So obviously these are great. Try and find things like this. This is probably the most expensive speaker I've actually bought to do this. This was marked at $40. I think I got it a bit cheaper. In fact, I've had it for a good few years. Um, I'm only really just starting to kind of kick off and do this. I'm really enjoying it. Um, this one here, this, this is an old, very, very, very old Celestian speaker. And I think this might've been an outdoor speaker. You can see it's, there's a back mounting there. And I reckon this might've been an outdoor speaker. It could have been something you might've found on a boat or out at, at like at a public pool or something like that. I plug this in. This is as dirty as hell. It's got rattles and bumps. And so it just, they're fun. They're really, really fun guys. So get out there, go and find, if you've never done this before, go and find yourself a kit, go and put a kit together and Put it into something. You don't have to put it into a cigar box. You can put it into anything you want to put it into. These these things here are already framed out. Okay, so a good speaker box, a good little speaker box is already quite well constructed. So it's a good place to start. And if you're doing a stall, if you've got a market stall and you've got your guitars up, your cigar box guitars up there, isn't it nice to have a little amplifier that you've made? Battery powered only. You don't have to worry about insurance, anything like that, especially with your market store, because I know they're asking for $10 million nowadays for uh, to get your insurance up, all right? So you don't have to worry about tagging. I have put, okay, because I am insured, okay, I have actually put a nine volt switch in the back here. I actually prefer running these on battery power alone. You don't have to put that in. All right, I just did it basically because I wanted to take it upstairs and I thought if I don't have a battery handy, it's something I can use, okay? But all of these, go out there, go and have some fun. It's Adam from Burwood Guitars. I've been here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Go out and have some fun and build something. See ya.